Hey guys, so let's go over some of those questions from the last episode on polynomials, foiling, and linear equations. First up, we have x over 2 plus x over 5 equals 21. To solve for x, what we need to do is first get rid of these fractions. So the way to do that would be to find a common denominator between x over 2 and x over 5. So x over 2 and x over 5, both are factors of 10, 2 and 5. So what we can do is replace these denominators by 10. 2 times 5 gets us 10, so that gives us a 5 on top. And 5 times 2 gets us 10, so that gives us a 2 on top here, equals 21. So 5x plus 2x gives us 7x over 10 equals 21. We want to move this 10 over here by multiplying both sides by 10. And we get 7x is equal to 210, and x equals 30. So next up, we have 9x plus 3y is equal to 24. What is y plus 12? What we need to do to solve for this question is to isolate the y in this equation, and then plug that value into y here to get us what y plus 12 is in terms of x. So if we move this down here, let's move the 9x over to the other side. So we need to subtract both sides by 9x. And we get 3y is equal to 24 minus 9x. All these numbers here, 3, 24, 9, are multiples of 9, or I mean are multiples of 3, sorry. So what we can do is divide all of them by 3. So 3 divided by 3 is 1, 24 divided by 3 is 8, and 9 divided by 3 is 3. So we get left with y is equal to 8 minus 3x. All we need to do now is plug this 8 minus 3x into the y plus 12. So we get 8 minus 3x plus 12. And that simplifies to 8 plus 12 is 20 minus 3x. Next up, we need to simplify 2x plus 3y minus z minus x minus 4y plus 2z. So the first step we need to do is distribute this negative sign through this term or expression. So we have 2x plus 3y minus z minus x plus 4y minus 2z. Now we just need to combine like terms. So we have 2x minus x which gets us 1x, 3y plus 4y, which gets us 7y, and negative z minus 2z, which gets us negative 3z. Next up, we have 2x plus y times 2x minus y. Now if you remember from the last episode, whenever you see something like this, where you have similar terms here, and the only difference being the plus and the negative sign, all we need to do is multiply the first terms and the last terms together to get the answer. So 2x times 2x is 4x squared. y times negative y is y squared. So we get 4x squared minus y squared. So last up, we have factor x squared plus 6xy minus 27y squared. So what we need to do to factor this is to look at the coefficients of the first and last terms, which are 1 and negative 27. So factors of 1 are just 1 and 1. Factors of negative 27 would be 9, 3. One of those might have to be negative. 27 and 1. One of those would have to be negative. Next up, we'd need to cross multiply these. We get 3 and 9. We need to figure out well, can 3 and 9 be manipulated to get 6 in any way? And it can. We have 9 and negative 3. So what we can do here is we know the factors start with x, because it's just x squared with coefficient of 1. And we know the second terms need to have a y in them, because there's a y squared here. And now we know, because of this, one of them should be a positive 9 and one should be a negative 3. So plus 9y minus 3y. x plus 9y times x minus 3y. That's it. If you're ever unsure, what you can do is just foil this out and see if you get this. So to double check, x times x, first or front, 
is x squared. Outside, x times negative 3y gets us negative 3xy. Inside, 9y times x is positive 9xy. And last, 9y times negative 3y is negative 27y squared. And then to simplify like terms, we have negative 3y xy plus 9xy, which gets us 6xy. And we get x squared plus 6xy minus 27y squared. And that's what we had. All right, so that's pretty much it. Like always, if you found this helpful, give the video a like and subscribe, and feel free to leave comments and questions below.